Okay, today we have a Pen 750 SSM that feels nice, but it doesn't move up and down. That's probably because the crosswind is damaged, and I'm saying the crosswind only because the gears themselves feel fine, but it could be a lot worse, who knows. So let's open it up and see. A lot of corrosion on this, so I want to be careful when I try to get these screws up. All right, that's not too bad. I find that on these, the uh, the ones that are tough to get out sometimes are this one and this one. So let's see. Oh, it all looks good inside. Hmm. There we go. It's not the crosswind block, it's the crosswind gear itself that's all eaten away. So I'd be concerned about the gears or the teeth on the portion that hits the cross one gear off this main gear. Let's see if we can get that down in there or not. Oh, this will be tricky. Let's see if there's any post that's in the way. This doesn't move at all. Got some movement on it. I'm gonna manually push this uh, cross line up to see if I can get that down. No, it's not moving. Let's try to help it a little bit. All right. So how do we get this out? I don't know. We'll figure it out though. Got stuck on me there. Hmm. Just want to see if it's riding up onto the main gear or not. And it's not. But we're stuck, so. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on here. This doesn't turn at all, but I'm gonna try to wedge it in there and break some teeth off or some more teeth off while I'm at it, I'm sure. I got some movement back and forth. I'm pretty sure these gears, this gear in the bottom is probably bad as well. Let's push. Close. But it's rubbing in the main gear at this point. Almost there.
stay up there. There we go. Hmm. I don't see a whole lot wrong with this stuff, except for, we'll check this in a sec. Um, I'm not sure if the 750s had this or not, but this is for the, this shaft is like for this older style blocks that they had where a screw went in there. I'm not sure if it works with the block like this or if it needs a block like this plus the screw. But anyway, let's take that out and see if the uh, the crosswind gear is okay, which I pretty much know it's not already, but I'm going to pull it out so we can look at it. Then we're going to double check the main gear to make sure it's okay, because that was a little bit of rubbing on there. might be a 650 I don't know well, it looks long enough okay so let's pull this uh let's pull this gear out and if you can see that or not but all the teeth are missing in there so we know that's bad see where the residual teeth are. Oh, there's some. There we go. One tooth, two teeth, three, four. We need more than that. There we go. Five, six, seven, Might be a couple more in there somewhere. So we found a total of seven teeth inside there. All right, let's check the main gear. these are damaged and that's what I was worried about there the gear the teeth on this are damaged it's possible someone tried to replace just the crosswind gear or something didn't realize these are damaged and that effectively damaged this or the shaft or whatever in any event so we need a new one of these a new one of these and we might need a new shaft I don't know if the shaft is the right shaft or not or if we can get parts for that and most likely we're going to change this uh, pinion gear also we'll get all the parts and see what we need to do all right so I'm gonna order the parts and then when it comes in I will show you the rest of it okay so we got the parts we needed to repair this 750 so let's go ahead and get it put together I'm going to do the bale first, or the rotor and the bale. Let's start with the bale arm and the uh, line roller. I'm going to add some grease in here and here. And I'm also going to add some grease to the back of this, the uh, washer, and leave it on the inside as well. These bearings have a tendency to um, get rusty, but they all spun. So I'm gonna add a drop of oil to it, if I can get it. And a drop here. 
I'm not adding a lot. Of, I'm not adding a lot of oil to this. And we're just going to stick that inside these cavities here. But I'm going to add some oil to there as well. I'm sorry, some grease to there. I'm just going to drop them in. I'm going to add a little bit of grease to here and stick the line roll over it. Now we can get the lock washer, stick that in along with the screw and put the washer on there and just kind of screw that all, all together. I'm not locking this down the entire way yet. I'll leave it slightly loose for now. And now we can do the rotor itself. Add some grease there and some grease here. I'm also going to add a little bit of grease around here like this. Just really light them out. And that should be good. And I'm going to add some grease at this bottom part here as well to hold this uh, where to go oh here it is this bracket that's used for the uh, for the bail spring so let's go ahead and get this spring attached you notice that this um, that arm is bent slightly I'm not sure how that fits inside this uh, inside this rotor in a sec. I just a light amount of grease to this stuff. It doesn't really need it. Put in one end like that. Then we have to lay this that bracket there on top of that point right there. So the hole fits over that slot. I'm going to add that grease just so I can keep it in place. And the way I put this in is you can't go from this angle, you have to kind of go from this way. And it's not super easy, but it's not that difficult either. I start from the middle, around there somewhere, push down so it gets in there and then just put it over to the right side. Like that. Now I'm gonna cover this up so that when I start working with this, these two pieces, the, uh, the bale doesn't, the spring doesn't go flying out on me. All right, so now that side's secure. Now let's add a little bit of grease to the tip right here and stick it inside that hole that's right there. Like so. And just kind of push that down a little bit so you can find the hole and screw it in. Yeah, we're set in place. Okay, so for this side, I'm gonna add a little bit of grease inside this hole on the inside and where the head of the screw will sit. And then just screw that in. Let's go ahead and tighten everything down. And double check that it works. And that feels good. While I'm here, I'm gonna add some grease to the underside here. And inside the hole. So 
so let's do the uh, the spool next. And I want to do the bale spring for I'm sorry, the click spring first. Let me grease this a little bit because this has a little bit of wear on it. Take this piece here, stick that into the uh, the click tongue like so, and then add our spring. And we'll just get that screwed in. screw down partially and then I'm going to add some oil to just under the screw. I'm just going to go back and forth and work that in a little bit. Then we can also move that to work the oil in as well. Lock it in and then we just got to push that prong over to the other side. And just make sure that the end of that spring is sitting under the uh, the top. All right, so let's go ahead and do the the drags on this. I'm gonna grease these washers up real quick. First goes the octagonal washer. Next is the Teflon washer here. And then we have a keyed washer that goes in. HT100, octagonal, and then HT100 and the final metal washer. Then just take the spring and find the groove for it inside and make sure it's sitting all the way in the groove. I'm just going to double check it. And that looks good. Okay, now we can do the handle. I'm going to add some grease inside here. Some to this this hole to this hole right here. I'll put some along there as well. I'm also going to grease this and next I'll add oil to here. Kind of work that in. oil to here as well. Now we can just kind of stick that in there and screw it in. down a little bit. Then the final step I'm going to add some grease to this tip. Okay so now we can start on the housing. Okay so let's add some grease where this bearing is going to sit. I'm 
can also add grease up here where that metal um, cover is going to sit as well. While I'm here, I'm also going to add grease to here where this bearing is going to sit. And also on this side. Now these bearings have already been oiled and greased. I oiled these and I greased the pinion bearing on this. All right, so let's go ahead and grease this pinion up and then we'll get the, uh, the bearing set on top and this resting in place. Now I didn't change the pinion gear on this. It looked uh, fine, so I just, I'm assuming that it's going to be fine by just adding the uh, new main gear and cross wine. Where's my bearing? Get the bearing on and just rest it in like that. Now we can put this cover on like so. And the sleeve for the anti-reverse has a deeper notched end on one side than the other. The deeper notched end will be going down. Like so. And this end there wrist looked okay. But I'm adding a little bit of grease to a couple points. You don't want to put too much on there. Then just set that over it. Now you can cover it up, and this only goes one way, like that. I'm going to tighten these on a little bit more, but not too much. You don't want to break the plastic. And let's put this uh, trip bumper on there add some grease around here and on that hole as well so now we can work on the pieces that we need to replace which were the uh, main gear the cross wine and we're going to add a screw to that to the uh, to the shaft All right, so I'm going to grease these up. And now we can add our bearings, or at least the bearing on this side. Pop that up, make sure it gets in there properly. I'm gonna add some grease to here where the cross line will ride along this top here and here as well. And that's pretty much all you need to do for that portion. And add some grease to these holes where the screws will go. Now we can stick our cross one in and we forgot about our block so let's go ahead and get that greased up really quickly like that a decent amount of grease in this section here all right so on with the cross line gear aim that point down slightly and that feels good and now we can add if I remember correctly, we can add our rotor and then add this shaft before putting the main gear in. So let's go ahead and get our rotor on top. Then 
I'm gonna just screw this in. There's a beveled edge and a flat edge. Just make sure the flat edge is facing down. And let's add a little bit of grease to this hole and then put this cover on. That looks good. Okay, so now let's put the uh, the shaft in. I'm gonna put in real, real quick and see if it does go in. I just don't remember. Yeah, it looks like it fits, so that's good. Let's grease this up. Make sure I grease here where the cross iron block sits. And just kind of rub that in with your fingers. Mm -hmm. I'm adding some grease to the bottom there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add some to here as well. Alright, so just take it through. So these reels came with just a screw on top there and either this is a later model where they started using this uh, cover for the crosswind or someone added it afterwards. But it's supposed to still be used in conjunction with the screw so I got the screw for it as well since there wasn't one there. Just has more support to the shaft. So let's get that attached. Let's do that first. Just snug everything down. That looks good. All right, so I'm gonna stick the bearing in on this side. Make sure we don't forget it. And I didn't see the shims on here, but I may need to play with the uh, play with the uh, this gear when it's put together. But we'll find out. And now we can just cover this up. So now I'm going to add a little bit of grease to the top part here, some onto that um, threaded area, and now uh, we can just kind of get the rest of the pieces put together and test this reel out. works let's get the handle on and see what it looks like
Yeah, I may end up having to shim that uh, the main gear a little bit, but it feels good. Anti reverse works. We know the bail works. All right, so that's it. That's how you put together a pen 750 SSM. Uh, if you liked uh, the video, please uh, consider subscribing and also hitting that um, bell notification so you don't miss any episodes that come up in the future. Uh, tell your friends about the channel and certainly make comments if you have any. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks again for watching.